With 11 days to the African Cup of Nations, we continue our build-up here on the Joy News channel. Hello and welcome to The Sport on Pulse. I'm Gary Al Smith. Today, we touch base with the Deputy Captain of the Black Stars. Kujua Sama speaks about several issues in the full interview that will be played at 10.30. But we look back at when he spoke about an issue that has become a bit of a myth or a legend. Did he really have dreams about lions and tigers and was that the reason why he let go of the number 10 jersey a lot of people have said stories about the number 10 jersey and about why you left it including dreams and all that tell us the full story yeah i i i did uh, tell them i i I, did, I don't want the number 10 shirt because the number 10 shirt at that moment i was not the one who chose that number I had my favorite numbers already. Yeah, I had number 20. I had no that number because when I started my career in Europe, that was the number I used. And that was the same number that made me um, who I am today. Because I went to Udinese, I chose this number, and then I started playing, and that was when people got to know me. So I got in love with that just number. So when I came to the national team, I was playing with the number 20. And then I remember when we had the African Cup of Nations uh, 28 here in Ghana, um, Apia told them to give me the number 10. Yeah, he told the team manager and then uh, uh, there was one guy called Mr. Alex. Alex Asante. Alex Asante. So they, they came with the JC that they told me Apia says we should give you the number 10. I was like, okay, well, I, I cannot say no because the, cap, the captain himself says I should take the number what 10. What number was he wearing? Apia. Yeah. He, was, he was using the number 10. Yeah. At that moment, he was injured. He, he was not going to be part sure. of the team. So he told them to give the number 10 to me. And I was thinking, why, why me? So I took the number because uh, I, I couldn't say no to Apia. So I have to. So I did, um, I took the number 10 jersey and I was playing uh, with the jersey for a very long time. And it got to a point, I didn't have that feeling of wearing um, the jersey anymore. So I had to put it down and then put on my favorite jersey. That was when I asked for um, the number 20 again. Uh, there was another theory that, and I'm sure my cameraman knows the story. <laughs> that, that you had seen lions in your dream, you were dreaming and when you were dreaming, you saw lions and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Ghana. Is it, is it, is it, is it true that oh. you were having some dreams and all that and so you uh, decided that's no? No, no way. Because, I, you know, I've been hearing this story for a very long time. I don't know where... I don't know who the kind of person who brought up this story. Because I never had any conversation with anyone that I'm having dreams of someone chasing me about Jesse. I don't know where that story came out from, but honestly, I'm making it clear, I never had any dream like that. I just told them I don't want the Jesse anymore. I want to change. I want to take back my number 20. So it wasn't like someone was chasing me because, no. So, next up is on his readiness for a Black Stars leadership role. Of course, he's not a deputy captain, but what about the step up? ready to take the armband of the black stars of course because um, in everything there's time and then there, there are moments when you cannot ignore things you have to accept them when it comes and there are times when people are forcing you to be there or giving you um, authorities or power and you think you're not ready you can tell them I'm not ready so if there's a time that comes and I have to be the captain and I know I have to be why not but at this moment you can't say you are ready no I'm ready to play for my national team yeah. we have a captain now sure. if there's a time that I will be the captain <laughs> who knows so I can't I can't say tomorrow I'm going to be the captain I just pray 
to God to protect me and then give me more um, life and an energy to, to just build my career yeah. to a certain point and then if anything happens because captainship is not something that I'm willing to have at the moment because something that I'm willing now to do for my country and myself is just win African Cup for my country because it's something that I'm lacking in, in my achievements. So I really need this. It's not about captainship. Yeah. You need the African Cup. Yeah, 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 I need it. <laughs> How bad do you need the African Cup? So, so bad. Because um, here in Africa, we only have African Cup of Nations. Although we play the World Cup, that's the second thing that we play all over the world. But in Africa, when you talk about African Cup, Ghana, it's been a very long time that we, we won the African Cup. And this is something that I really need to add up to my achievements because I've won a lot with my club in, in Italy. What about my nation? I haven't won anything. Although we've been to the finals two or three times and we couldn't, we couldn't win the cup. So this time around, I just, I'm just coming in, do my best and then to help my country achieve uh, also um, uh, to achieve. The journey to helping his country achieve a fifth African Cup and a first since 1982 starts in 11 days. That's Kujia Samma. The full interview will be later tonight on the Football Show at 10.30. I'm Gary Al Smith and that is the spot for now.